Hey guys, happy Tuesday, Truth Tuesday. So the T is that you can live in a house that you hate. Now, I am not talking about your traditional house, your brick and mortar, where you have your bathroom and your bedroom and all that good stuff. However, it look, <laughs> it can be that too. But what I'm speaking of is your house that you're housed in, your body, okay? So hating things about your mind, your thought patterns, your um, mind, your body, your physical body, the way that your physical body is 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 right now in what state it's in, your spiritual health, all that, right? And so here's the thing. With that in in your body, you're dealing with those things in your body, your mind, whatever, in your house, okay? Because this is your house. This is our temple. This is where God dwells. If we have things in our body that we hate, the thing is, I would rather you all have some construction, okay? A construction zone rather than just leaving it be. Now, if you had a house where you were doing some work on it, say you did your kitchen and your kitchen is the way that you want it to be and you were working on other parts of your house, like your bathroom or whatever, and that was under construction, people or you would understand that, right? It's like, okay, look, my kitchen is the way I want it to be and then this is here what I'm working on. That is a good thing, okay? That is showing progress, okay? So the thing is, you don't want to be in a situation where you're choosing for ruins. You're choosing to leave something the way that you hate it. That is not growing and evolving. That's staying in the same state that you hate, which hurt people hurt people. Okay. Um, if you're not being kind and loving on yourself, you're not going to be kind and loving on other people. Okay. You cannot pour from an empty cup. So here the thing is. It's figuring out those things that you want to change about yourself, okay? And figuring out what it is about your house that you don't like and be honest about that. Now, some practical advice, you know, therapist advice would be to write those things down, the things that you don't like about yourself, the things that you hate about yourself. And, you know, um, my daughter, she has this saying, she's like, um, when somebody does something that you know that they should not do, she's like, why they act like that, right? And so... Um, or she'll say they should know better at their big age, right? So there are some things at your big age that you do that you don't like. And it's okay to be honest about those things because again, like I said in a video yesterday, some people will die before they change. So the fact that you hate these things about yourself shows that you have self-awareness, that you do self-actualization, that you do introspection. Those are all very good things, very good signs. It's just that you have to take those and move somewhere with it. Don't just stay there with those things being present and not really working through them. All right. So write those things down. Think about the things you don't like about yourself. Pray on the things you don't like about yourself. And the other thing is, you know how people say when people die, like at their funerals, they're like absent with the body, present with the Lord. The Lord was showing me that that is actually not a state that we have to wait for. It's not a state that we have to wait for when we die. That can be right now. And so in his presence is fullness of joy. But in personal experience, I've also seen that my ways, my thoughts, my patterns, my strategy, all those things have changed in the presence of the Lord. And this, look, this is Christian therapy. Okay. So I know for some people it's like, oh, this is too spiritual, but I'm going to tell you what, that is the best thing I can tell you to do to change your personhood, your personality, who you are is to go to the maker, the one who made you so that you are restored back to that original state of where he had you in mind when he created you before you were even in your mother's womb. And by the way, he created you with words. So I need some of y'all to speak it. All right. So I hear all of these name it, claim it or whatever. There's nothing wrong with it. As long as you're speaking the word of God and you're speaking what he says about you. All right. Love you guys. Christian therapy.